always into the Italian cars. To me, the Italian vintage cars have always been the passion. And at that time, when I was in my early 17s, 18s, 20s, I had a GTV and I used to race a, a GTV in El Salvador. Then there was a Junior Sagato, okay, which was a full race. And this is when I fell in love even deeper with the Sagato body, the Pininfarina bodies, and the uh, Italian old-fashioned 60s and 70s cars. And now that I came to the U.S., I fell in love again with the Italian cars again. Um, and now my passion is Lancia. Lancia, from the beginning, from Vicencio Lancia in 1906, he had the engineering. He wanted to make everything more state-of-the-art. The unibodies, the coach building. The ones that I really love are the 60s and 70s, especially the Fulvia. The rally history, the sounds of the engines, the narrow V4 engines the way the construction of the bodies, you open the doors, you close the doors like a refrigerator, it's like precision. They break very beautifully, they turn very beautifully. They do have basically uh, that unique Italian smell, that Italian scent, the Italian sound. Obviously, a new car, you don't hear anything in it. Here, you hear carburetors, you hear mufflers, you hear your window going up and down, you hear all these other mechanical things that they have disappeared. It is not that difficult to own one. I encourage people that have always had that curiosity of like owning a Lancia Fulvia, it is the most enjoyable car you're gonna buy. It is the most reliable car you're gonna buy. Maintenance is just a fraction of what would it cost with a much higher end Italian car. And the joy, the sound, the experience of owning a Lancia Fulvia is unique.